What's up? It's good, y'all. It's spicy AF back with another spicy topic. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on X. It's spicy AF and at spice tea spill on Instagram. Here is the picture. Subscribe and share down that rabbit hole of Diddy's tunnel parties. The streets are also talking about some of the unnamed celebrities and the named celebrities victimized by Diddy, y'all. And that is what I want to talk about. A lot of people already speculated Diddy groom Usher at that artist camp when he had to move with Diddy before he became famous when he was a kid. Everyone was talking about how just weird that was. And through the years before Diddy was even said to be a an abuser, before all this happened, Usher always said little things in interviews, always left little hints, little keys, little cues that Diddy was up to no good with him when he was a kid. He was groomed. I moved to New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp? Yeah, that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was... And it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I ain't say that. I, I should look like he fresh off goddamn plane. I just, I just, I just. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off of the... All for the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early with me. <laughs> now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what, what the, the fuck, fuck did Puff just say? Here? Nobody's going to acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. And we're streaming live. That was stupid. Listen, that was fucking stupid. Listen, having a good time. Are you usher made in the yo. He was abused. And that is the speculations we were left with based on some of the things he said. Usher went in straight and they said came out crooked because in fact he was a victim of Diddy. It's always going to be strange when when a record producer or manager says you got to live with him and you a kid and because sometimes parents are thirsty and they want their kids to succeed they want that money real bad they want them to get in that business real bad they will agree to giving guardianship to these people they don't even know and that's sad let's talk about justin bieber who he was giving guardianship over to usher there was a video where diddy had 14 year old justin bieber over at his house joking and kidding with him and it's coming back up it's been making its way back into the streams diddy talks about how usher gave him guardianship for 48 hours to keep Justin Bieber at 14 years old at his house people is cringing all over the world right now when they watch this video because it makes you wonder what happened to Justin Justin was very vibrant very talented can sing still can sing cute little kid but he was a kid a child and he was staying with Diddy and now what we know what we know today of Diddy it's scary to think what he could have endured in that house. I won't forget the fact that I saw where Justin, he was he was eager to meet Diddy. He really wanted to meet Diddy, and that was his wish. He actually got his wish to meet Diddy. Diddy wanted to keep the kid for two for two days, which is very odd. I'm not even saying Diddy hurt him. I'm insinuating, but I'm not saying he hurt him. But somebody definitely had. Let's get into that, yo. At the age of 15, because he's actually 15, a kid want their car. At the age of 16 in most states, 
you get your driver's license. At this point, Justin is not rich. He has not seen money. He is at Diddy's home. Y'all, pay attention to grooming. A groomer is going to show you what you can get, what you will have, what you'll earn. When Justin says, well, I'm 15, I have my permit. Can I drive? Which I'm so glad he said that on the record. Look at Diddy's face. Threw him off, right? Because he's 15, you could be able to drive with him. What does he have to earn? Just pay attention to grooming, y'all. Get into this. All right, so, so I'm going to be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down and you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15, you can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. No. no 16. No, slow down. Let's slow down, Justin. Okay. Let's slow down, okay? But yeah, yeah, the keys is yours. And you, you know, when you get 16, you're good to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. And then, when you get 18, you get the house. You get the mansion. Okay. Yeah. The mansion. So, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where are we going? We just, so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose. But, um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when when you know he, he did his first album. I did Usher's first album. I don't really I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next forty eight hours, he's with me. So um, and, and, we, and we gonna go full buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you wanna do? What you wanna do over the next forty eight hours? Forty eight hours. Let's go. Um, gonna, let's just go get some girls. Let's go get some girls. Listen closely. You want to hear? Oh, really? Oh, See, my what? parents, my parents never gave me the sex talk. Okay. So why don't you give me the sex talk? I, I really, me. I feel uncomfortable right now. Oh. Why do you want to know the sex talk from a 15 year old boy? That's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the album. Okay, what's going on with your new album? <laughs> Things on blast, you know. You want to say it again? You have beautiful lips. Oh, thank you, man. Thank <laughs> it's you, like, bro. You have great lips. Wow. Thank you, bro. Harry, who apparently wanted to know what a Bieber butt felt like. The year award at the American Music Awards and managed to shock the teenage pop superstar. She presented with Luke Bryan and before Bieber with kisses on the neck and a butt grab. Backstage, McCarthy joked about what Bieber jokingly called violating. I, I did grab his butt. I'm single. But I think that's cougar rape. I did grab his butt. I'm single. But I think that's cougar rape. So was the butt grab spontaneous? Well, it better be, because that's just weird if it isn't. Um, yeah, you know, I gave him a kiss and there was a lot of lipstick and then my partner Luke decided to wipe it off and I was like, no, so I did that for a reason. So you remember me. So then I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't help it. He was just so delicious. So little, just, I want to tear his head off and eat it. Wow. I feel violated right now. Wow. Wow. So what you saw in the video is the actual publisher of this video put it together really good. It was a compilation of when Justin was younger. After having dealt with Diddy, he was open to a lot more fame and a lot of popularity, more money. You could see that the adults asked him. There was there was men and grown women asking him about sex talk, saying their parents never talked to him about sex talk. He said, I'm only 15 years old. This is weird. This is not right. And you could hear the men in the background laughing in a very strange, odd way, y'all. No other way to put it. Then you saw in another clip, some guy grabbing his butt at as a minor. Some celebrity dude grabbing this boy's butt. And the dude had on clothes that looked like drag or some type of gay pride look. So this man was already grown touching on his kid. Then you saw Jim McCarthy sucking or kissing up on this young boy's neck in front of everybody and it's like they're these celebrities are bloodthirsty for young people for some reason they love messing up young people's lives just sick y'all just sick and then 
you can see Justin looking sad through the years, looking depressed. He's even spoken of his depression, looking like he was just tired. Even as a young kid, you can constantly hear Justin say, I'm young. This is not right. But they're saying in this video, it all started back from Diddy. Now, take a look at this clip right here where you are going to see something you probably never saw before. What you just witnessed was Justin Bieber, Odell Beckham Jr. and Diddy. They didn't know that they was on camera. It was Diddy that alerted them because the camera was coming towards them. That's why everybody's looking at us, the camera, right? The person that's holding the camera. You saw Odell pulling up his pants as little Justin Bieber was facing the man's front and he turned around to the camera try to play it off y'all all of this happened after justin little young justin took that 48 hour stay at diddy's home it began there don't be deceived now i want you to get into later on in life how open openly confused justin bieber is due to this due to all of what he's encountered adults grooming him adults sexually abusing and assaulting this boy fondling this kid and this kid had to tell the adults hey i'm 15 this is not right red flag alert stop take a look at the effects of what the industry do to young kids y'all sick <laughs> crazy and if you can look at this picture as a kid this does not look like as an excited young kid who had dreams using his talent getting paid for traveling meeting celebrities having fans this is a kid that looks like his dreams became a nightmare like somebody stole his dream somebody lied to him he was disillusioned due to the adults that was taking advantage of him and i don't like it i think it's damn wrong and these people should pay for what they did i pray healing Hope for Justin and his new family and wish nothing but blessings and congratulations to him and his new child. I pray that he do the very best he can do with what he has, you know, and that God guides him because people really sought to destroy this young guy because of their disgusting perversion. They try to destroy this young guy who now probably I would have some type of hate towards certain people. And you wonder why people are the way they are about races. Well, the ones that hurt him didn't really look like him. At least that's what we thought. Because in those videos, you could see some of his own too. So it's disgusting all the way around, any way you put it. Do you see what I'm saying? Justin was a vibrant young kid who wanted to use his gift. How did he end up at Diddy's fucking house as a kid? Why would your parents do this to you? It's, it's so sad. And when you look at what we just went over, how Justin went from vibrant to depressed, to being outlashed, out, just out with it, kissing Jaden recently, out in the opening, just French kissing him. Then you see, you see Kim Kardashian's now ex, as we think he's her ex, OBJ. Odell Beckham Jr., the football player, who was just recently with Kim Kardashian. He used to date Chloe. You see the odd behaviors of these people. Who dates the sister? Who dates the sister and then her sister? When Usher did Super Bowl, he actually wanted Justin Bieber to perform with him. And remember, Usher is Justin's manager. He wanted Justin to perform with him. Justin turned it down. He turned it down. He seems to be wanting to get away from these people. He's with Haley, they're having a baby, and that's congratulations for them. But she seems to have a, a, a more of a positive influence than the male adults had in his life. It seems to me that something happened to Justin Bieber at Diddy's house and under Diddy's care, under Diddy's watch. Something went left with Justin and that shaped him and that messed him up through the years as you saw he became depressed. 
he became extremely depressed. He's out in the open kissing men. Look like he's giving head to OBJ. The weird stuff they are doing in the industry connected to Diddy, y'all. It is getting wilder and wilder, y'all. Seven victims have accused him so far in lawsuits of SA. I said it to you before, I'm going to say it again. There's unnamed celebrities, associates, that have also been victimized under Diddy's care. And, and, and this man is into some heavy stuff. I never thought this was happening, but now we know. Let me know what y'all think about this all in the comments. Who do you think, who else you think was known at that them tunnel damn party? Who else you think could have been a victim? Trusting someone, trusting Diddy, trusting the people they with that took him to that party. Who else do you think is a victim that's a celebrity? I would like to know who you think is gonna be on those tapes. Put them in the comments because I'm interested in what y'all gotta say on this one for sure. Let me know what y'all think about that. Hit that thumbs up, y'all. Like this video. Subscribe. And stay tuned because we got more to come. Peace.